हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द गेट 2024 मैथमेटिक्स सॉल्यूशन टुडे वी विल सी हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन अगेन विद द हेल्प ऑफ द फुली शॉर्टकट ट्रिक्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर हरीश कर यू कैन सिंपली फॉलो माय यूट्यूब चैनल डॉक्टर हरीश वेर यू कैन फाइंड द वेरियस पी वाई क्वेश्चन सीरीज द लास्ट लेक्चर वॉज अपलोडेड ऑन द पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन अगेन इट्स अ फुली शॉर्टकट ट्रिक्स टूडे अगेन आई विल अपलोड द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ द शॉर्टकट ट्रिक्स if you are new to my youtube videos you can simply join my whatsapp group with the help of this scan and join them i hope you can like and share my videos with your friends as well first of all look at the options you remember always whatever the mcq problem you always look about the options firstly whether whether they wants they ask you to solve the differential equation no because they are not asking what is the solution of this so it means if you look about that this equation will be my here fine and if you are trying to find the integrating factor and so on it means you are wasting your time always remember you are wasting your time because the solution is not given to you as a proper answer they are asking about the concept what is that what is the concept for that we all knows if y1 and y2 are the solutions of this equation where right hand side is non zero then y1 minus y2 is the solution of homogeneous part fine why i think all of you know that because we all knows i called this is my a a y1 i called right hand side is b similarly y1 and y2 are the solutions of this so clearly say if you subtract them then this plus a y1 minus y2 is zero so that means y1 and y2 are the solution of the homogeneous part fine now what is the shortcut tricks for you so y1 and y2 are here y1 and y2 so this will not be the solution now second tip is whenever you have a non homogeneous solution uh, differential equation look at the solution of the non look at the solution of the non homogeneous and the general solution will be only when you take the sum of the coefficients some of them will be one some of the solutions of the non homogeneous part look at that this is the solution of the homogeneous part which is the y1 is the solution of the non homogeneous yes so what is that is the coefficient is one no so that option is cancel this is the solution of the homogeneous part y1 is the solution of the non homogeneous part and the coefficient is one that's a correct answer y1 and y2 are the solution of the non homogeneous part but the coefficient is not one the sum of the coefficient can it always be one no what is that this is the solution of the homogeneous part this is the solution of the non homogeneous part and you can see c1 is not always one so that means this option is also cancel b is my right answer you can see they are not asking you to solve the problem the, they are lo, they are ask you to logically concept so that's why i always explain my solution with the help of the fully shortcut tricks okay this is the last uh, i uh, i forget to upload the last uh, this partial differential equation in my last lecture okay so i can uh, write now here what is that this is given to you and p is my any vector and moreover you can see uh, i already uploaded this solution in the memory based question b now what is the meaning of this do you remember that it means f is my homogeneous differential uh, homogeneous function okay with degree is 3 now think about that they are not asking you to find the solution firstly think about which term come in your mind when the function is homogeneous and they are talking about the partial differential equation of first order any idea come in your mind the first idea come in your mind is euler equation fine what is the euler equation is x del f upon del y x plus y del f upon del y now it has the four variable so i uh, because the variables are x1 and x2 x3 so i call this is my x1 this is x2 third one is say z over x3 plus uh, again i call this is my x1 x2 and x3 so this is my x1 this is x2 this is x3 this is x4 which is equal to n into f fine so what is the n is degree so degree will be my 3 now they are talking about the point p 
so what is the solution at the point p so what is the value of the p at the x1 1 this is the value we need it so i call as fx1 plus x2 1 over 2 fx2 1 over 3 fx3 1 over 4 fx4 n is my 3 what is the f of p 6 so it is my 18 now i need a 12 i can take the 12 is the lcm so what is the answer of this 18 into 12 you can see it will be the 3 it will be the 4 when you multiply by 2 so the right answer is 18 multiply by 12 is the right answer how many seconds you are needed just look at the logical concept don't forget to like and comment on my video to support my my lectures okay look at this another one what is that this is the range kuta methods fine a uh, very simple approach you can see if you remember my range kuta lecture you can solve this like this question within the 10 second again what is the shortcut fix as i told you this alpha and beta must be same fine so look at that d option is cancelled these are same these are same these are same another thing is you have to find the coefficient of yn is n minus 1 a times k1 b times k2 a plus b must be 1 fine a plus b is not 1 a plus b1 a plus b1 another thing is b should be what is the b b should be 1 over 2 alpha a should be 1 over 1 minus 2 alpha so what does it means that means b times alpha is my half fine so what is that b 3 over 4 into alpha 2 over 3 is it half yes correct answer b half a 2 so it is 1 it is not so the right answer is a is my right answer so you can see with the help of these three lines you can solve this question simple man look at this another one a is a non diagonable real matrix with a real eigenvalue here it's a non diagonable so a is my 2 cross 2 it has the two eigenvalues and it is a non diagonable means it has the repeated eigenvalues so once it has a repeated eigenvalue v is the eigenvector corresponding to lambda what will be the solution of this this is my solution this is my eigenvalue lambda fine now the solution will be c1 v v is the eigenvector plus c2 because it's a repeated i can return like here fine so firstly i can check about that c1 if i open this one it will be c1 e raised to power lambda t of v plus c2 t v e raised to power lambda t so it's a t square this option cancel it is fine it is fine it is fine no it is not it is fine also now what is the role of the u Wait, what is the u is okay u is the solution of this oh that's a simple that's a straightforward solution about that what is the solution of this because the eigenvalue is my lambda again fine this is corresponding to the v of this so it will be my here that is my complete solution that's a standard result also so which one is the option this option is also cancelled c2 if i take the c2 e raised to power lambda t common it will be my tv plus u and it is my c1 e raised to power lambda t of v and here you can see it's a v plus u but we need a this one so the right option is b is my right answer okay the boundary value problem has infinitely many distinct points this value is my cauchy euler problem fine so the solution will be m square always remember whenever you have the cauchy euler problem b x y dash plus y is equal to 0 your auxiliary equation will be a m square b minus a m plus 1 is 0 or if i call this is my c then it will be c fine so a will be by 1 b is my minus of 2 a will be my my 1 so 3 m plus 2 is equal to 0 m will be 1 and 2 so my solution will be c1 x square c2 x raised to power 1 now i can substitute here y1 what is the y1 c1 plus c2 minus y dash minus 2 c1 minus of 2 is equal to 1 so that implies c1 
will be minus 1. y of 2, 4c1, 2c2, minus k times derivative at the point 2, plus c2 will be my 4. So, clearly say 4c1, c1 will be my minus 1, so it is a minus 4, plus 2c2, plus 4k, minus k times c2 is equal to 4. So, 2 minus k of c2, it is 8 minus 4k. So, c2 will be 2, 4 common, fine, divided by 2 minus k. Now, for the infinitely many solution, we need k to be 2, because once k will be 2, because what is the solution of this? x square, when it has the infinite many solution, when you are unable to get the exact value of the c2, so that means when k is equal to 2, it is my 0 by 0 form. That means k is equal to 2 is my right answer of the problem. This is another one. Okay, that's a sturm liber problem. What is the shortcut to x? I gave you. Whenever you have the solution in the form of this, fine, which satisfied my this property, y of a is y dash of a, y of b is y dash of b then your lambda will be n pi over l whole square where l is my b minus a if you compare them a is my 0 b is my pi fine so l will be my pi y of 0 is y dash 0 satisfied and here so what is my lambda l is pi it will be n square so what is that this is not possible this is not possible and here n is my positive natural number. So, you can see n is my positive natural number. So, yes, first b and d are my correct answers. So, you can simply uh, 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 scan and join my WhatsApp group and I hope you can simply like and comment on my videos as well. So, this is a complete solution of the differential equation and you can see within the shortcut tricks, you can learn all these solution in a simple manner. I hope you can share, comment, as much as possible you can thank you very much for your support of the of yourself best of luck students happy learning